In our district alone, we withdraw on average 1.3 billion gallons of fresh water each day to meet our needs. Almost 90% of that comes from the aquifer or groundwater. Public water supply and agriculture account for more than 80% of the water used in the district. Our over-reliance on groundwater has created problems. In the Tampa Bay area, thousands of acres of lakes and wetlands have been impacted. Along the ridge that stretches through Polk to Highlands County, lake levels have been lowered. At times, the upper Peace River fails to flow at all. And along the coast, salt water is intruding into the aquifer, making the water too salty for drinking or irrigation. The district is working with other agencies to develop alternatives to groundwater. These alternatives include surface water from rivers and reservoirs, desalinated seawater, reclaimed or recycled water, and water conservation. The timing of our rainfall presents another water supply challenge. More than 60% of our total yearly rainfall occurs from June through September. A key to meeting our future water supply needs will be developing enough storage to capture water during the wet seasons so that it can be used during drier times. To address some of these storage concerns, the district assisted Manatee County in developing the nation's first aquifer storage and recovery project. Also known as ASR, the process captures excess surface water, treats it, then stores it underground where it can later be retrieved for use. Our area leads the nation in recycling water. District funding has enabled more than 130 million gallons of reclaimed water to be used daily. Use of reclaimed water combined with district water conservation projects instituted since the early 1990s have saved nearly 100 million gallons of potable water per day. Meeting current and future needs while protecting the environment requires all of us to be responsible stewards of our water resources. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more, visit our website at watermatters.org. This video was produced by the Southwest Florida Water Management District.